Some 80 years ago, these swords were up on the walls of a well-known museum. Ever since, they have been packed in chests and stored away. Now, they're back on the walls, but this time at the Van Duhuis de Hague. And even better, they're up for sale. Hello, my name is Edwin Patterson. I'm the sword expert at the Van Duhuis Auction House. It was founded in 1811, around the same time as these swords came into use. You can find these swords on the walls of all the great army and history museums all over Europe. The National Army Museum in London, the Musée de l'Armée à Paris, the National Militaire Museum in Soest, the Royal Army Museum and the Waterloo Museums in Belgium. At first sight, there are three models. The number one and the number two, slightly bent for the light cavalry used in reconnaissance and pursuit. And the number three, straight for the heavy cavalry to be used in shock action. But when you take a closer look, there are in fact six models. This is the French Year 11 from 1807. It was first used in the Netherlands by the cuirassiers of King Louis, the brother of Napoleon. When Napoleon incorporated the Netherlands in France in 1810, the Dutch cuirassiers became the French 14th Regiment of Cuirassiers. But after the independence of the Netherlands in 1813, the cuirassiers brought back home their swords and used them again in the army of the Netherlands. This is a perfect specimen. It has the name of the factory on the back and the stamps of the inspectors above the hill and at the end of the scabbard. The scabbard being a very rare original. And finally, this is the real number three. There are slight differences. As you can see, there is no ring, there is more twist wire. And an important difference, it has a different scabbard. Look at the two screws instead of the one at the French one. This is what the French call a scabbard hollandaise. And finally the number one. Half of these are actually British pattern 1796 swords. They were exported hastily to the Netherlands in 1814 to arm the newly raised Dutch army. They were made by Birmingham sword makers like Woolley, Dawson, Bate, Osborne. But again, there were not enough of them. So, this is the later version that was made in Germany and Belgium. We also have these lances from the same period and these wonderful chests. If you want to know more about the collection, you can order our catalogue Or go to our website for the online catalogue at www.venduhuis.com. This is your chance to order 